when you first log on to my MATLAB, you should be brought to a page with a left-hand navigation bar, as you see here. What I would recommend is going to the homework and then going to the drop-down menu under homework and select all my assignments. And when you do that, what you'll see is the order in which I recommend you do the assignments. You'll see here that first there's chapter one and the chapter one quiz, chapter two, the chapter two quiz, chapter three, the chapter three quiz, four and the four quiz, and then the online midterm exam. And that is the order in which I recommend that you do the different uh, subjects. The quizzes and tests will bring you to just the quizzes and tests for the course. You'll notice that for each of the quizzes that there are an infinite number of attempts that you can have at the quiz. So if you don't get it right the first time, you can try again. For the midterm and the final, you have 10 attempts and my math lab takes the highest score of any of those attempts. So you have 10 attempts, and if for some reason you run out of attempts for the midterm or the final, just simply send me an email and I'll give you even more attempts. But usually I find that 10 is about all that is necessary. The study plan I don't recommend using because it doesn't contribute to your grade. The grade book will show you what your score is for the assignments that you've attempted so far. But don't just go by this percent. Remember to then look also at the assignment submitted. This is with the results show overall score selected. This way you'll see the assignment submitted. Any assignments that aren't submitted at the end of the term will become zeros. So that percentage that you see here will be significantly impacted if you've got a bunch of assignments that have not been done. So a passing grade will probably become a grade that is not a passing grade. On the chapter contents, for those of you who would like to be able to see the textbook, you can choose a chapter, for example, here, chapter four, and I'll choose uh, 4.1. And then if you come over here, you look at the multimedia e-text. And what this does is open up the textbook that is the textbook for this course. It takes a minute for that to open. Here you see that uh, section 4.1 is the exponential functions chapter. You can use the little arrow on the side to go back and forth. You can select the menu and select other chapters and you can even print out these pages uh, if you like. However, it's always available for you here so that you can uh, reference it. And you can even do that while you're taking a uh, quiz or test. To give you an idea of how the homework works, uh, let's select a, a homework at random, say say 5.4 homework. I'll select question one. You can increase the screen to make it completely visible. The big help in these questions is under the question help. And I don't recommend using the help me solve this option because after the computer has helped you solve it, you'll then be asked to do another one on your own. What I would recommend instead is view an example. Then under view an example, you can click the continue button to see the problem completely worked out. And here we have it completely worked out. And you can then scroll through the problem. If you find this particular explanation, one that you would like to have in your notebook, you can even come here under question help and print this out. And you can print this out either to paper or to say a PDF file, which you can then have on your computer. And feel free to open that PDF file during any exam or quiz. So that's essentially how to use my math lab in doing this course. Hopefully this will be of some help to you with some suggestions. If you have any problems, please feel free to email me.